Okay, hello, welcome back. This is part eight in the video series uh, Salvation Through Works is Heresy. Um, let's take a look at um, the book of Ephesians, written by the Apostle Paul, uh, chapter 2, verses 8, 9, and 10. It says, For it is by grace you have been saved. That's past tense, isn't it? What's that mean? That means that 2,000 years ago, uh, before I was even born, uh, uh, Jesus saved me. There at the cross, it's finished. Yes. Yeah, past tense means that we don't need to wait to be saved. We don't need to keep our fingers crossed hoping we get saved. It's done. For it is by the grace of God. God is so gracious that salvation uh, is done and settled for us who have faith. It says... For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. The faith must be in Jesus Christ as Savior and His atoning death on that cross. So God did His part up on the cross. Now we have to do our part and receive Him by faith. That's exactly what the next part says here. It says, and this not from yourselves. So that's not our part. Salvation, this is, is, is because of the grace of God uh, and Jesus died on a cross so our sins could be forgiven. That's what He did. He did it. It's not from ourselves. So it's not what I do that saves me. It's what Jesus did on the cross that saves me. And as this verse says, it's not what I do. It's not my works that save me. Yeah. It's what I believe. Yes. And it goes on to say, it is the gift of God. It. It in this is referring to the salvation. So, salvation is a gift from God that's, that's offered to all of us and we receive it through our faith in Jesus Christ. And a gift is... Uh, uh, do you have to work for a gift? No, it's a present. Is there anything you have to do to earn a gift? No. Then it, if, I, if there was something I had to do to earn it, then it wouldn't be a gift. What if you uh, uh, brought me a box with a nice wrapping and a bow and said, look, here's a gift. And, I open it up and receive the gift, and then I give you. I say, "Here's a hundred dollars." That would be that. an insult. That might that might disturb me. Like I, I you know, I love this it, guy. I just wanted to give him a gift. It would be offensive for me to insist on paying you when you've given this freely. It's a free gift. Now, if I insist on paying for it, is it still a gift? No. No, it's nullified as a gift. It's, no, it's not a gift at all if you insist on paying for it in some way. And it yeah, says here. Because now it's, it's, uh, you're trying to purchase it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, the next part, it explains that. It says, it's not by works. It says, this not from yourselves, it is the gift of God, not by works. And uh, another verse says that if it were by works, it would no longer be grace. You can't have it both ways. So as soon as you try to make it works, then it's not grace. And it's not... Uh, you don't have the grace of God. You don't have salvation because you're insisting on earning it through repenting of your sins, becoming religious, doing whatever it is. As soon as you add any work to it, you've nullified it, you've canceled it, it's not grace, and you're not saved. And you're insulting God. Yeah. Uh, and it says... Uh, it's not by works so that no one can boast. <laughs> so that no one can boast. Uh, can you think of anybody that uh, is preaching a message that they can boast of their, of their own self-righteousness? Uh, there's all, all types of people on YouTube and street preachers. I've seen street preachers here in Vegas. Yeah. Uh, I actually hear them boasting that they haven't sinned. They completely stopped sinning. That they that they, they preach this quote they call it sinless perfection and say that they don't sin any longer at all ever. That's what I call boasting. And this says right here, it's a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Because they're boasting, it proves that uh, they're not trusting Jesus and the gift of salvation uh, because they're boasting that what they've done. The only boasting we should be doing is about Jesus and who He is and what He's done for us. As soon as we add any works to this equation, then we are not giving the credit to the Savior. We're taking the credit for ourselves. Uh, so by, by uh, saying that 
we depend entirely on Jesus Christ for our salvation. Not any religious works, not any repentance of sins, not any righteousness that we have on our own. That as soon as we, we say it's entirely Jesus Christ that we depend on for our salvation, then He gets all the credit, He gets all the glory. And that's why God saves us by faith alone in Him. So He does get all the credit, and He does get all the glory. Because um, if it was by works, then we would get all the credit. Uh, we would we would get all the glory if it was by what we could do, and and for people to to go around preaching that it's by what they do, they're robbing God of His yes. glory. The, the the people that say that uh, you've got to do some works for your salvation, uh, they are the ones that would be uh, able to say to God, "I worked for it. I earned it. You owe me." They're placing God in their debt. They're saying God owes them because they deserve it because of their works. Uh, and these people who are claiming to, you know, this sinless perfection, that's exactly what they're doing. These guys would be the religious leaders that if Jesus was here in our day that he would be rebuking them. Uh, that's who these guys would be. These guys are the modern day Pharisees and the modern day Sadducees. Yes. Um, they called it legalism back then. Uh, the Judaizers, Judaizers were they tried to uh, impose Judaism on the church uh, they, tr they tried to force people who were trusting Jesus entirely for their salvation they believed in the grace of God salvation through their faith in Jesus Christ not by any works and they tried to bring in all this religion and all these religious requirements and force them to be in bondage and that's what I see people still doing today so but there is a purpose for works if we move on in this, in verse 10 it says, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. So the Apostle Paul in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, he explained uh, how we're saved through our faith in Jesus Christ, not by works. But in verse 10 he says, But you are created in Christ Jesus to do good works. So, just as Paul is saying, we tell everybody today, yes, we're saying you should do good works. That's the whole reason that we get saved, is so that we become a servant of God. But we uh, don't preach that to the unsaved. No. No. Matter of fact, to the, to the unsaved, uh, we preach. Preaching means guilt. Look, you're guilty, you need forgiveness. You're a sinner, you need the Savior. But to the people, once they're saved, we don't preach anymore. We just teach. They need to learn how to grow and mature spiritually. Preaching is um, has an element of guilt in it because guilt causes uh, repentance. And that means a change of your mind that you, I'm a sinner, I need the Savior. Yeah, and, and only uh, by preaching uh, the cross and, and preaching uh, Christ uh, is, is someone going to come to that conclusion um, that they, they are a sinner and they, they need the Savior. Um, okay. All right, well, let's end this one here, and we'll pick up more in the next video.